After traveling full time for over two full years, I've stayed at some of the most incredible resorts and villas you could ever imagine. So what I decided to do was create a top 10 video on places you guys must stay at yourself. What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video today. My name is Christopher Lau, also known as C Lau Travel, and this is my new studio setup. So I'll let you guys know at the end of this video, the big project that I'm gonna be working on. And in today's video specifically, I'm gonna show you guys the top 10 accommodations that I've ever stayed at based on my experience. Now this could be three star, four star, five star hotels all around the world. I've stayed at some of the most incredible ones traveling full time as a vlogger for over two years now. And I put together this list, not necessarily based on price points, anything like that, but based on my favorite accommodations from the experience, the ambiance, the people that I even had around me. So this video will be my favorite accommodations around the world, the top 10 that you guys should definitely check out after the coronavirus and this COVID-19 ends. So let's dive right into number 10. Now, number 10 accommodation is kind of an accommodation. It's more of a boat. I stayed on the Paradise Elegance with Paradise Cruises out in Halong Bay, and it was one of my favorite accommodations that I've ever stayed at. So my bucket list experience was going to Halong Bay, and the boat, the ship, the room was absolutely incredible. Definitely would recommend Paradise Elegance. The bed, the ambiance, the bathroom had a stand-up shower, including my own bathtub on a cruise ship in Halong Bay. I I would never have expected this. I also had like a little balcony area besides having stunning views of Halong Bay. And as I mentioned, it was like a four or five course meal that you could have in your room or you could have at one of the restaurants on the boat. So I would highly recommend specifically the Paradise Elegance with Paradise Cruise if you guys are going out in Halong Bay. It was a bucket list and an amazing accommodation in my two years of travel vlogging. Now for my number nine on the list, keep in mind, I'm gonna shoot through this list. If you guys wanna check into these accommodations or see more of an experience, I have vlogged at all these accommodations, so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and check out the vlogs at all these destinations that you guys should check out. But for my number nine on the list, it was a place that I've always wanted to stay at ever since I discovered it. It's Timber Cove Resort out in Northern California. It's about a two hour drive north of San Francisco, and it's one of the only resorts, I think there's a few out in California that is on the Pacific coast so it's literally on the coast the cliffs are right there the drone shots are absolutely beautiful and this was kind of like a bucket list experience that I always wanted to stay at in California and I couldn't really ever afford it and the time that I could afford it it's funny they were under construction for like six to eight months it was more of a renovation I think it was like 2016 but I was able to take Rachel there around a year and a half ago on a quick little trip to the US and it was one of the most magical experiences the views the room the ambiance was beautiful. The food was absolutely incredible. For something like Timber Cove Resort, I would definitely recommend it for like a romantic type couple, a romantic feeling. And it's definitely an incredible place and a bucket list spot. If you guys are looking for anything on the Pacific Coast, I would highly recommend Timber Cove. It was one of my favorite experiences. And luckily I get to take Rachel. Now for number eight on the list, I was just there just a few months back before COVID-19. Number eight on the list is Aura House in Bali. Now Aura House is a once in a lifetime experience. It's literally a bamboo hut that has two bedrooms. So a bedroom on the middle part and a bedroom on the bottom part. The middle part is the bedroom that I stayed at with one of my buddies, Michael. It's a giant king size bed. You have a little balcony that overlooks into the forest. And as I mentioned, Aura House is fully made of bamboo. So it's like an eco-friendly, sustainable living type place. Place. It's booked up until I think August of 2020. That's what it was when I spoke to them in January and they only had one night. So I got really, really lucky. It's one of the most magical and incredible stays. When I walked into Aura House, I think my jaw dropped pretty much. This place is insane. Oh my goodness. 
Then the bottom floor, that's where Cam and Cal stayed at. It's like a cute little nook, a cute little room with a bathroom. So there's two bathrooms. I think it's two and a half. The top floor when you guys enter is like the main living quarter with again, another opening balcony type area that opens directly into the beautiful jungle out in Ubud, Bali. And I would definitely recommend Aura House if you guys go out to Bali, go with a group of friends, go with loved ones. They have multiple properties, but keep in mind, they're always booked up. So definitely check them out. Now, number seven's accommodation is an experience itself. It is staying in the Sahara Desert at a Berber camp. So just last year in February, I ended up going to the Sahara Desert with Exploring with Cody. We ended up leaving specifically from Marrakesh on a two day adventure into the Sahara Desert. I'm not exactly sure how long it took just to get to the Sahara. It was one night in another village, then one night in this beautiful Berber campsite in the Sahara Desert. So we drove all the way out to Drash. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong here. And we ended up jumping on these camels for an hour trek during the sunset in the Sahara Desert. Super incredible experience with Cody. We were getting shots, we were getting bangers. Unfortunately, we couldn't have our drones there because it's Morocco, but we ended up making it to the Berber village, which had like a little fire pit in the middle. We had these luxurious, tents that I would highly recommend to stay at. Even though it was really, really cold, the bed was ginormous. I think it was two beds, including a smaller bed, and the bathroom was really, really nice. We had hot water. It was very luxurious. We had Berber music playing at night. The food was really good. And then the next day, we woke up for sunrise and we ended up playing in the dunes of the Sahara Desert. Definitely an experience for itself. I would highly recommend the Sahara Desert and glamping at some type of a Berber village, especially a luxury one. Chris, don't trip. Don't trip. It's a little too late now. Whoa, shit, I can't go. <laughs> you all right, man? Yeah, I'm good. You got sand in your shoes? A lot. What about in your underwear? I keep wanting to walk right. <laughs> you look drunk. Maybe you shouldn't have drank that whole bottle before coming out here. <laughs> Now I did say on this list, it's gonna be from luxury to maybe one, two, three star hotels. The next one is another experience for itself. X Pirates Dive Camp, I think that's the name, out in Flores, Indonesia. So Ivor and I just last year in June ended up going out to Indonesia, specifically Flores, to check out and explore and find Komodo dragons. We ended up staying at X Pirates Dive Camp, which is on one of the islands out in Flores, Indonesia. The experience was so incredible. It was these little huts, literally little huts that we had to climb up this hill and you have a beautiful view into the Indian Ocean including the sunset is like right at our head and again it's not luxurious so it's kind of like a hut the bathroom for the first night was kind of like below our tent our cabin you can say and it was a makeshifty bathroom we had literally a bed and just netting around us and that's it we were essentially sleeping in the outdoors but it was such a beautiful and incredible experience especially waking up to nature to the ocean highly recommend it they have three four nights experiences that you can take on a boat out in Flores to check out Komodo dragons and you get to end up staying at X Pirates dive camp highly recommend it cool experience now for number five, I throw it back to my first trip out of Thailand with Rachel. We head out to Cambodia, specifically Phnom Penh, and we head out to the flotation suite on the Mekong River. So this was quite the experience, and I ended up visiting Cambodia, I think, multiple times that year, so I'm pretty familiar with the Mekong River, especially if you guys are out in Southeast Asia. And this is literally a suite on the Mekong River. So Rachel and I were out in Phnom Penh, and we ended up taking this little boat ride, I think it was a 45 minute boat ride, to this private suite. It's only one suite by itself, and there's one restaurant connected to it. So essentially, whenever you're there, the whole restaurant is for you, your family, your loved ones. I would highly recommend it for loved ones. And it was quite the experience. We basically got off the boat, we walked through the restaurant, and we walked on like a little wooden flotation plank or a barge onto our flotation suite. And again, it's right on the Mekong River, so the sunset was super pretty, super beautiful, got some awesome drone shots. And it's one suite itself, so it's a full bed, there's a bathroom, there's enough space for to hang out. You have your own deck to eat dinner. I got one of my favorite Instagram bangers with Rachel out there during sunset. And then you could literally walk over five seconds and sit in your private restaurant. I would highly recommend it if you guys are in Cambodia. I never knew they had an experience like that. And it was literally my first experience with Rachel out of Thailand and it was a magical one. Now for number four, I'm gonna take you back out to Indonesia. Unfortunately, this experience wasn't with Rachel and it's a very romantic place that you guys have to check out for yourselves. Number four goes to Pulau Chinta. 
Cinta out in Indonesia where I deemed in a video as the Maldives of Indonesia. So Pulau Cinta is literally a heart-shaped, eco-friendly type room that you guys get to stay in. You end up flying to one city out in Indonesia from Bali, and then you end up flying to Gorontalo, I believe specifically, where you take a boat directly to Pulau Cinta. It's super unique experience, super beautiful. Again, I had this experience literally my second month full-time travel vlogging, super unique, super incredible, and I ended up taking one of my guy friends, unfortunately, no offense to you, Sean, but it is such a unique experience. If you guys aren't looking to spend as much as you guys would spend if you guys were to go out to Maldives or anything like that, and it's literally like a Maldives. So we had a two bedroom, eco-friendly wooden hut out in the middle of the Indian Ocean. I think it's still the Indian Ocean, I could be wrong. And we had three nights to literally do nothing. You could also book island hopping tours, which we did. So they took us to a couple sandbars, but we got to relax, enjoy it. I think the packages and the rooms come with unlimited food minus alcohol. And it's definitely an experience they have to check out if you want that Maldives type escape out in Indonesia with your loved ones. Now winding down to number three, number three was just in one of my videos as the number one destination that you have to travel to out in Southeast Asia. I highly recommend this place to stay at, Club Tara Resort out in Sahotan. So if you guys love the Philippines like I do, one of my favorite countries in the world, fly out to Shargao, take I think two boat rides to Socorro Island, and you end up making it to this beautiful resort in the middle of a lagoon. You're literally surrounded by limestone rocks called Club Tara. The place is absolutely beautiful and definitely on my bucket list. The thing about Club Tara, not too many people know currently about it, so I would highly recommend check it out as quick as you can. The place, again, is literally in the middle of the lagoon. You have like a jacuzzi tub that overlooks the lagoon. It's kind of like Pulo Chinto, you could say. So you're on these wooden platforms in the lagoon, in the water. Super unique experience that I got to experience with two of my best friends, Ivor and David. I love taking my good friends and loved ones to unique hotels, unique accommodations, and trips like that. So there you go, David. And again, one of the best tours and places I would highly recommend to check out in Southeast Asia is the tour to Sohoten Cove for Club Tara. It's a full day tour, highly recommended. Guys, this place is super beautiful. Again, if the drone shots don't steal your heart, you guys, you guys gotta get there soon. Now for my number two on this list, you guys might not have expected this. My number two on this list goes to Sanctuary Peck Bang Lodge all the way out in Peck Bang, Laos. You guys might not have heard of this village, but again, this was one of my most unique and special experiences, specifically accommodations for four nights ever. So essentially you guys fly out to Lang Bang, Laos. You take, I think, a seven to eight hour boat ride. Now they have different style boat rides. I ended up taking a pretty nice and luxury one. It's an eight hour boat ride on the Mekong River. And this lodge again was right on the Mekong River in one of the smallest villages that I ever stayed at called Peck Bang. Now what made this lodge really, really unique, it reminded me of this really beautiful glamping experience. The room was really, really clean. I was in a village in the middle of nowhere, it felt like, literally on the Mekong River. Super beautiful, unique experience. The room was clean, the shower, everything was clean. I love the room and it overlooked the Mekong, which is the best part. And my favorite part, it was directly across from Mekong Elephant Sanctuary. So every single morning at 7 a.m. I was woke woken up by two elephants meeping in Mekong, bathing in the Mekong River. One of my most magical and favorite experiences ever. I ended up getting a drone shot my first morning, which I ended up not doing that anymore because I didn't want to disturb the elephants. But it was such an incredible experience, waking up literally to the elephants' trunks. <coughs> That's literally what I heard every morning at 7 a.m. And it was so cool watching them bathe for a full hour every morning at sunrise. I ended up going to the elephant sanctuary. It was the first elephant sanctuary I ended up working with. It was such a cool experience creating this video and I would highly recommend the stay. It's a unique experience and the place is clean and absolutely beautiful. Ready to go? Okay. I stop on her time. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm like this. <laughs> I want some trees. <laughs> Now guys, we reached the number one on this list. This number one is my favorite experience in regards to accommodation because of everything that it led up to. So my number one on the list is a recent one right before COVID-19 also with my best friends, Cam and Kels, including Rachel, out at Soniva Kiri in Kokud. So essentially it's like a six star resort out in Kokud. The experience was so incredible itself where we ended up taking a private jet out in Bangkok Airport BKK. So Neva's private jet, which took us out to a little island right next to Kokud. We jumped on a boat on that little island right there. We ended up making it to Soniva Kiri, which was super beautiful. The water was 
absolutely incredible. They gave us a five bedroom reserve, which is the nicest place I've ever stayed at in most expensive. We literally had five bedrooms. I think it's five bathrooms, maybe six. We had our own gym. We had our own private pool and water slide. We had our own beach. And my favorite part about this experience is the chocolate room and they have an unlimited ice cream room, which is unheard of. Now they have so many different activities that they could set you up with on the resort premise from treetop experiences where you're literally drinking high tea in a treetop. Very unique experience. You can take a boat to private dining at sunset. They also have like a sunset restaurant. Unlimited food there for the main dining area. They have a private movie theater there. You can take a private boat to like another private beach that they take you to. It's super beautiful. My favorite experience, honestly, and I was so happy that I was able to take Rachel, Cam, and Kels. We even ended up taking the private jet back to Bangkok. Highly recommended, even though I think the room was, I think, seven, eight thousand dollars a night. It was a once in a lifetime experience. I would definitely check it out if you guys can, and especially if you guys can afford it or maybe for a special occasion. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick video on the top 10 accommodations that I have ever stayed in personally for me. I would definitely recommend check them all out, especially after COVID-19, the coronavirus ends, and I hope you guys are all safe at home. Now, the thing about all 10 accommodations that you guys just saw and the project that I wanna share with you is these accommodations I actually stayed at for free or in exchange for the work that I do. So literally from the three-star places, the five-star experiences, all the way out to Soniva Kiri, I did not pay a penny, I did not pay a dime for these experiences. Half of these experiences or most of these experiences, my food was covered too. So literally everything was covered for me. And that's one of the reasons why I have this entire setup surrounding me. I have pictures behind me, I have lighting. I ended up earlier in the day cleaning this entire area, getting these giant softbox lightings right in front of me. So I unpacked it, I screwed it together. I have this chair that I also put together, which I'm probably not gonna use because I have a table and a desk that's gonna be coming in two weeks. And I'm gonna be creating a full course on how you're able to travel for free how you're able to create this into a lifestyle and even get paid. So again, I've been traveling full time for two full years, staying at incredible resorts and hotels and accommodations. And I wanna create this course and let you guys know how I'm able to do it. Once you guys have that videography skills, the photography under your belt, I wanna show you guys how you can drive your pitch all the way to a closed deal and get free hotels and make this into a passion. From showing you guys my email templates specifically for hotels, accommodations, all the way out to baby products. I'm gonna be creating this course, not just for influencers, but also to digital nomads to show you guys how you're able to pitch yourself and how you're able to get clients and close deals. So stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested, leave me a comment below. Specifically, leave me your email address below and I'll put you guys in this email pool and I'll keep you guys posted about this course, which I'm really excited to create and show you guys on how I'm able to travel for free and get a lot of these accommodations with such a small following especially. So again, keep on the lookout for my notifications for the course, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the top 10 accommodations that I've ever stayed at. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoyed this video, and check out all the videos that I have in the past from all these accommodations. Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys have any other cool accommodations that you guys have stayed at in the past yourself, or if you guys are interested in the course that I'm launching, and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys are notified. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being a part of the community. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Cheers, guys.